Hey everybody, Daniel Urbino here with WP Central and today I'm going to give you a tip on how to use the Zoom Pass on your Windows Phone 7 device. Uh, this was something even I didn't know about until recently and I found very frustrating. Uh, I'm going to give you an example here. I'm just going to real world example. Say you're using Shazam and you're out and about and you hear a song and you ID it. Now I have some recent tags here saved to um, you know, speed this up a little bit. So we got a song. Okay, so I got here Good Riddance is uh, the song Stand. Now you get the little zoom icon down here. So we'll click that. Now that's going to take us to the marketplace where we can get this song. And there it is right up there. And there we go. And you can see there's the album and it has the songs on there. And I'm going to zoom in here. Now you'll see the song. It says buy for 99 cents. But I have a zoom pass. If I go to my computer right now, I can actually just download this for free. So why am I going to buy it for 99 cents? And well, maybe there's more options here. Okay, yeah, um, there are more options. You can see I have buy or I have cancel. That's not really too many options. And if we zoom in here a bit, you can see it says I have a one song credit I can use, and I have nine credits remaining. Those are my free credits. But that's not my Zoom Pass. I mean, it's part of the Zoom Pass, but that's not what you know I'm talking about. I want to be able to download this for free. So how do you do that? Well, Microsoft basically hid this feature, uh, and you, I don't want to bring up conspiracy theories, but I, you know, it's kind of really hidden. So check it out. You have stand here. If you hold down the song, now you get this pop-up menu, and now if you look what it says, so you have the add to now playing, buy, download, or share. If I hit download, Look at this. Now you can see it's actually going to be downloading the song. It says pending. Let's see how long this takes over Wi-Fi. There it goes. But that's how you get the song on Zune Pass for free. So of course it's still digital rights management. If I quit my Zune Pass, you know this will expire and I won't be able to use it. But um, you know that's how you can use this out and about on the go instead of waiting till you get home and having to research it and you know download it again and then sync over. Um, and there you go. Now it's on my device and it's playing all is well in the world. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that tip. Take care, everybody.